on today's episode of The North American Journeyman. Hopefully we've resolved our green screen issue that's been plaguing us for the past few episodes. Sorry about that. But we're on to the next thing, and that means a new club. Because I put in my resignation at Delphine's. That's the new club behind me. We just joined up, so I hit save. I stopped everything, worked on some other projects, but I'll give you the background. You can see the badge if you can guess it before I click in. Kudos to you on your CONCACAF knowledge. But here's how it went down. I asked for a coaching course again, and for the 10th or 11th or 12th time, the board turned me down. And then I said, well, we got all this money from playing in front of 90,000 people, in the Champions Cup against Club America, playing in the Azteca, got nearly a million, so we're sitting positive 500,000 in the balance. Let's spend some of this money on some things that might help us out a little bit. So I asked them to relay the field. I said, it's hurting our reputation. And they said, it's rainy here, so the people will understand that it has probably rained recently. And so I asked them to relay the field again when the option came up and the board said, there's injuries, but you're the manager, so you're supposed to just deal with that. So that didn't work out either. I asked for a coaching course again, they turned me down, and then the option came up to ask to go to professional again. And I asked, and they turned me down again, so I pushed it all the way to the point where I put in my resignation and I'm no longer the coach of Delphine's Del Este. But I did leave them. I was able to get the board to agree to improving the training facilities and improving the youth facilities. And those only cost about $80,000 each. So we left them in a pretty good state. Hopefully they'll turn professional soon at some point. I don't know, the AI is kind of weird about that stuff sometimes. But anyways, we have been seeking jobs while we were at Delphine's. So obviously that was gonna come up in every single interview that we had. And as soon as we quit, it made me feel really good because all of these jobs just started popping up left and right. And then we, we started getting interviews left and right. I was like, well, we have our pick of the litter, kind of. We went in for Saprisa, declared interest. No, we're not at that level yet. We went in for a couple other clubs in, I think it was San Carlos again in Costa Rica and no luck. So Costa Rica is still a little bit out of our reach, the top division at least. But then a really attractive job showed up and it was Jalahu in Guatemala. So they're like the top dogs in Guatemala and we got an interview, but I wasn't forceful enough I didn't grovel to him. I didn't say I wouldn't apply for other jobs while I was there. So they ended up passing on us. But then this little job popped up. And this is in a league that's even higher than Guatemala. So welcome to our new club. Welcome to the Royal Society in Honduras. That's right. That's what Real Sociedad means, Real Society. That was enough talking about what happened. Let's actually get into the game here. So I saved it right here. We got the job. So we'll load it up. And boom, here we are. Real Sociedad, Honduras. Eyebrows have been raised in this world of soccer. At the appointment of the 39-year-old. Yeah, getting up there, A. Eh? who has recently spent time away from club soccer, not that long, like a month, tops? Plenty of questions when I face the media in Estadio Francisco Martinez Duron. We lifted the Coca-Cola bottle and took a swig and won that league twice. I'm replacing Nahuel Bernabai. Martin Garcia was considered to be the favorite. 
Following his public denial of any interest, the club were forced to move in another direction, so I wasn't even top choice. Ouch, that kind of hurts. But anyways, here's our club. Um, yeah, they've got a million dollar transfer budget. And I think like one point, we'll look at the finances, but I think it's 1.4 million bank balance. So if they don't let me go on a coaching course, I'm going to flip tables. But we're moving into a bigger stadium. Payroll is bigger. We've got a huge transfer budget that we can swap over. Lots of money to play with. Here's the honors and stuff about the club a little bit, kind of. Ricardo Ellenkoff, the president, is welcoming me in. He looks like a happy fellow. Um, what was I going to say about this club? I don't know. I'm just stoked. Honduras is a pretty good. I think that's the seventh highest league. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You don't need to watch some Zealand video. If you want a tutorial on what to do when you first get to a club, that's what you're watching today. So we're not complaining to games. We're just going to get to know the club. This is the players. That's the first thing I like to do. They want us to finish mid-table. That's probably about where we're sitting. We're obviously going to push for higher than that. Work within the payroll budget. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Minimum two-year contract for first-team players. That's interesting. They just mid-table, 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 mid-table. Strive to make progress on off. So the expectations are low. We'll talk to the media every month. Confirm. Boom. We're into the squad. Right where I like to start. I don't like to look at anything else. I just want a first impression. Who's good? Who's old? Whose contract is expiring? Looks like nobody. Anytime soon. We got a year out. It's July. They expire next year, so lots of year left on the contract kind of guys. Top dog. It's already sorted by ability. We're perfect. Garcia, center back. Way more well-rounded than the kind of players we had at Delphine's, so I'm stoked on that. It's a good start. Lecayo, striker. Uh, probably more of a winger, but maybe up top. Bit of a kind of Yessi Mina sort of vibe. 29, three caps Honduras. I mean, Garcia have any. 19 caps, also 29. So players in their prime. This guy is on international duty with Honduras. And now we're talking... Left back, 27. Contract through two years. And he's, look at all that green on, on the pros side. The first touch isn't that great. Still an eight. This guy's well-rounded. Left back, complete left back. That's good stuff. That's what I'm liking to see, okay? Rodriguez. Defensive midfielder with bad composure. Middling green. 25, he's all right. We got a bid in for this guy. TLH Rangers and Trinidad want my deal spring. He's a little bit more of a kind of midfielder I would play. More well-rounded. He could play kind of like right back, left back kind of action too. If we wanted to retrain him, Romero up top. You know who he looks like, but a much worse version of? That we could probably have a good chance of bringing in is Bartlett. So that's another aspect of this day is going to be who are we going to go snag from Delphines? We'll throw him a chunk of money because I think we got some. So that's Romero, Jose Reyes, winger. Okay, right side. All right, he's okay. We got some improvement to do, though. Kermi Garcia, he's got a two to four month injury. Another one of these midfielders that has kind of no offensiveness to him. Not my favorite type of player. I don't really like defensive midfielders unless they can play a good attacking ball. This guy's a good left back, back up to the other gentleman, 30 years old. He'll serve for now. So left back is sorted. Right back. This guy's 31. He's not that good. He's okay. Now we're already getting into the players. We're like, okay, here's where we're going to improve. This is our best goalkeeper who's got a little injury. Two days. 31-year-old Colombian. I think I was looking at this guy, Delphines. He's been here for a while. Well-rounded. He's good enough. I'd like to improve that probably, but right back. 
Um, this guy is unregistered. He's out on, he's at Pantoa and he wouldn't get into the Delphine side. So now we're Zamora, number 10, kind of a striker though. Not that good. And Tunez, I don't, I don't like these five composures, concentration rather, either one. That low is pretty bad. Low strength, low stamina, not too impressed. I think that's the same guy it is. Sander. Okay. So what we're building the team around is pretty much these top guys right here. Left back down to the goalkeeper pretty much. These ones are all kind of just... Maybe some of them will sneak in and play a little bit. We have four goalkeepers. Yeah, these ones are listed. All right. That's cool. What else can we fill the squad out with? Real quick. Under 20 team. Anybody hiding out in here? Some high potential. Regens. Let's just go ability. Angel Nazar. Striker, one concentration. That's not good for a striker. Hill. Let's just go potential. Carlos Jimenez. 16. High potential. Castillo. Decent midfielder. Arzu. Striker, no finishing though. They're all young, though. I mean, this is like the first crop of regions. Looks like we're getting pr pretty good regions in the in this club, though. So, okay, so that's interesting. Let's take stock real quick. Sort of figure out what kind of system we want to play. Maybe two up top. I'm thinking probably more like a 4-3-3 kind of thing. We'll see, though. All right, real quick, let's just... Get over with the stuff. Yeah, I take over. That's great. Ongoing negotiations. So deal spring. I think we hang on to. Loan. To Trinidad. I think we're going to want him. We've got a little while to go until we play. We play Real España. Take a quick peek. So we're not superstars by any, by any means, by any stretch. The promote This promoted team is apparently quite a bit better than us. Quick look at the rules. Oh, yeah. We're in Central America. Opening phase. Closing phase. All you gotta do is finish sixth to make the playoffs. I think you need to make the final to make the Central American Cup. I could be wrong. We'll look at that stuff later. So, yeah, 36 games. That's just the league. Then you got quarterfinal, semifinal, final. Probably two legged ties. Yes, they are. So in Central America, you could play a lot of games. So you need a big team. You need a really big team. Uh, maximum six foreign base players over the age of 22 on loan. Maximum six players over the age of 22 out on loan to a foreign club at any time. That's fine. Uh, maximum three-year contract for players under 18, max five for all players. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Six foreign base players on loan might be a little bit iffy. Okay, squad. Players, I'm going to, real quick, I'm just going to cancel this, keep this guy around until I figure out what to do. They only want, excuse me, they're only offering 20% of his wages anyways. Hugo Oliveira. We went in for this guy. Offer him a trial, maybe? Contract was rejected. Maybe a nice little Honduran regen. Good tackling, potentially. 5'11". Okay, so we'll see what Hugo Oliveira is about. Apparently he didn't like our contract offer. All right, so tactical. So we'll we'll throw up a quick tactic based on what we saw there. I'm thinking four through three, just based on the first impression I got. But let's look real quick at finance. Boom, we're rich. Beep. Um, we got payroll to work with. We got transfer budget. We can ask for all sorts of stuff. Okay, that's exciting. That's very good. We actually made a bunch of money last year. 
Was it because of any competition? And was there any prize money? There's a cup? Or that's the opening stage? This is the... The same thing. One of them is the... The table? Like the overall table? Maybe? I think there's a cup. Maybe there's not a cup. Here's how we'll find out. Did we play any cup competitions? Look at all these games. Oh. All right, opening stage. They made it to the semifinal, lost to Montagua. Closing stage. They didn't make it out of the group. There's no cup. Good. Um, in the overall table, last season... So this team was rel- oh boy, this is the closing stage. Overall table. Okay, so it's based on overall table. Is how you get relegated, it looks like. It looks like. Real Espani was champion, champions, campeones. Olympia and Real Espani are kind of the two big dogs in this league. Olancho was relegated. I don't have the lower league. There it is. It's just Ascenso. It's these teams. Genesis. We were looking at this club. Look, they have a different badge here than I showed. They made it onto one of the thumbnails because I applied for them originally, but they're not here anymore. So they should have hired me. Okay, so finances are good. I know what we're going to do right away. Start a coaching course and just see if my profile went up. It hasn't. But, hey, finances was taking a dip because of the whole Delphine situation. Should have been on the rise, but we needed to get out of there. So here we are. We got a couple weeks until we play. So, just got some friendlies in under 20s, all of August. Transfer window closes 24th of August. It's open now. So we're ready to rock and roll. And then we're straight into games. Platensi is our first game. Excuse me. No, we play a couple games before that. First game is actually Real España away. And then Victoria at home. So we might come back for that episode. Just to play that first little game. And then we'll probably kick on to the season a little bit. See how we get going. But I just wanted to introduce you to the new club. The real, the Royal Society looks like we haven't really won anything recently. Mostly Olympia, with a little bit of Real Espana thrown in. I guess I can catch you up on Concacaf Champions Cup. The winner was Monterey. I don't think I showed you what happened in this. After we got smacked in the face by Club America, eight four. They went off and lost to Pumas. In the first leg, they had a first minute red card in the first leg. So they lost like 3 nothing. So they weren't able to overcome that. So Club America goes straight out after that. To another Mexican team. And Mexico has reasserted their dominance as Monterey beat Minnesota United in the Champions Cup. So none of the little boys really made it too far. San Carlos and us, we both got a bye. Everybody else lost their draw who's not Mexico or USA. So we got some work to do if we want to get a Central American or Caribbean team to win this competition. That's a goal. Maybe we'll do that at Real Sociedad, but the main goal is to win the Central American Cup. So for that, we need to qualify for the thing. I'm not sure if it's going on right now. It might be. The groups are drawn. So, obviously, our little boys... No, no, I'm sorry. I was looking. I was thinking of Caribbean Cup. Yeah, so you got Platensi from Honduras, Olympia, whoever else made the final, Montagua, probably Real España, are the four that I see. So I think it's if you make it to a final in either the opening or closing stage is I think how it works. Two Costa Rican teams have won this competition so far. So if a little job came in from Costa Rica, we might go ahead and jump in on that. Oh, the last thing that you should do, if this is a tutorial, is upgrade your staff. 
No contracts are expired except for a chief doctor, but that's he's not on a salary for whatever reason. You don't hire the doctors in this game. It's kind of strange. So you can see just who our assistant coach is. He's a regen. Maybe he'll improve. He's younger than I am. I'm an old man. But that's it. Here we are. Real Sociedad. We'll be back for the first game. Thanks for coming to hang out and just meeting the team. But we'll show you who we sign, who we bring in, how we end up propelling this team forward. But I think we made a step in the right direction. Please hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new club. Maybe what system we should play. Any players that catch your eye. Who we should bring in from Delphines. That's what I want to hear. Write a comment. Say who we should bring in from Delphines. That would be best. Because I'm going to bring in a probably four or five of them, I think. Bartlett for sure. But anyways, that's it. We'll catch you next time. See you on the beach. Adios. Adios.